tell a counting story about what you see. Here is a story. There are some worms popping up from the ground. You can count to see how many worms there are. Before you count, can you think of a way to make sure you do not leave one out? One way is to touch each worm as you count. You can also mark each worm as you count. You can use an arrow to mark each worm. Let's count together to see how many worms there are. One, two, three. Now you can finish the counting story. How many worms are there? There are three worms popping up from the ground. How can you find out how many counters there are? You can count the counters. Does it matter which counter you count first? No, you can start with any one of them. Let's start with this one. One, two, three. How many counters are there? There are three counters. Why do you think there are three counters? There are three counters to show three worms. How many sections are there in the box? Let's count to find out. One, two, three. There are three sections in the box. How does this go with the three counters? Both the counters and the box show three. Look, there is one counter for each section of the box. What else does this picture go with? It goes with the three worms. Today, you learned about three. You saw three worms. You saw three counters. You saw three sections in a box.